is going on streamers skits here back with yet another obs setup guide very very short and simple as usual all of my other guides are still working this is just a more updated guide for obs studio 19.0.2 is what i'm currently using if you're using something a little bit before or after it is okay i think my guides are still helping people the ones from a year ago same concepts but i thought since those helped here's an updated guide so basically all you, that you see behind me i'm going to show you how to set up very very simple so we have our widgets from streamlabs i'm going to go over here real quick streamlabs.com we're going to hook that up with obs we have our game scene we have myself we have the webcam uh, with the green screen filter i have the top uh, monthly donation i have my recent follow my donation goal my cheer cup over here my top cheer of the session right beside it all kinds of great stuff so i'm going to swap over to a whole other scene we're going to wipe it clean and start from the ground up stay with me if anything is troubling or you need help do not hesitate to hit me up on snapchat or all my social media i'll list in the description and i will get you guys situated so here we go we're going to go to a scene collection we're going to start from a fresh scene just like how you guys are uh, viewing this so i named this scene world of warcraft or wow and i'm going to jump right into this so first most important we have our game up right world of warcraft's up that's the game of choice i'm using for this and we're going to add that so if you go to the plus sign here add or we can right click in the box we're going to get add and we're going to go to our game capture let's name it warcraft and i'm going to add a couple more letters to the everything because i already have these set up and they won't take it if the name is already taken so warcraft we're going to click ok the mode is not going to be uh it can be any full screen application i play in windows mode so i'm going to click here and i'm going to tell obs to capture a specific window and right here in the window is our World of Warcraft, right? Boom, done. So we'll click OK. Here we have the red box around this. We can drag it around. We can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. But I'm going to just enlarge it a little bit. And then we'll move it up here just for the video's sake. And we'll leave it there. Perfect. So there's the most important part, guys. There's our game. It's up. Now let's add a simple overlay. We're going to go to Add. Or, again, right-click in the box here, Add. Our overlay is an image it's either made for us by a graphics designer or we can make it ourselves. we're gonna add image we're gonna name it overlay click OK and we're going to browse for the file right we're gonna go to our downloads we'll click and we'll search for overlay and here is a simple overlay that we have right so we'll click on OK and again we have the red box we can click drag it find it and then make it a little bit smaller and plop it right in there boom guys game scene done overlay done let's get our webcam up there so we're gonna go to add we're gonna go to our video capture device and we're gonna name this webcam click OK hello again guys good to see you my Logitech HD Pro C920 is up I do not have the chroma key filter for the green screen effect active right now because it's brand new but if we click on OK here's our webcam so great teaching point here you see that webcams first overlay in World of Warcraft if you click on any of these like if I click on webcam and I click on the down arrow it's going to tell OBS to put it behind whatever source is right here so if I click the down arrow you see that it moved me behind my overlay so here I'm gonna jump into uh, quickly showing you how to add a um, green screen effect if you don't if you do not want a green screen effect just ignore this brief part here and uh, also I have a green screen video just specifically short and sweet to this if you guys want to check it out uh, make sure you do that it still works right here so webcam if we click on this we're gonna right click it and we're gonna go to filters okay here's our filters right if we right click here we're gonna add again guys a chroma key click on chroma key we'll name it green screen um, again it's all kind of messed up and then here we have the green screen this is where you tweak the similarity and the smoothness I like to also just drag this over here to the side and then you can see on your actual game screen what it looks like so if I click on similarity with my mouse here's a tip 
I just take my hand and I go up and down on the up arrow, down arrow to kind of tweak it, right? So let's click up. And guys, it's almost looking, you know, kind of solid right there. I don't want to bore you guys too much. I honestly, I'm going to, I would tweak it and move it around and back and forth and kind of even out some of these spots. But guys, how simple was that? There's the webcam and there is the green screen chroma key effect. So again, guys, if I right click my webcam and go to filters, you guys can see that I just added a chroma key uh, effect filter to my webcam done let's keep it moving baby now let's start adding all of our really cool stuff right with Streamlabs. let's start with our alert box so if anybody follows you or donates or hosts you you get that cool alert sound and the pictures and all that kind of stuff i'm going to show you how to do it right here so here we have um on streamlabs.com you're going to go there and once you go there you're going to log in it's going to connect uh, it's going to link your twitch with Streamlabs very very simple you have a million different options here on what to add to your stream and they're all pretty much through the same route through your browser source if they're not through the browser source they're through the text file and don't get overwhelmed i'm going to show you how to do this so alert box here we go we have follow sub donation uh, host and bit and then below the general settings it'll allow you to click on your follow alert your sub alert donation alert and then it'll have you customize it right you can add your own gif you can add your own sound clip you can do all that kind of good stuff so let's do a simple run through of this alert box our widget url here we're going to click to show the widget and then we're going to copy and we're going to go back into our obs and we're going to again add click the plus sign we're going to go to browser source and we're going to name this alerts click OK and then right here in the URL guys we're going to take out obsproject.com and we're just going to simply paste our Streamlabs alert box URL widget click OK it takes place right here we'll, we can resize it again I'll put it right in the middle so you guys know and then if you guys want go back and then you can simply just click on test donation test whatever to make sure it works so I'm going to click test donation and then quickly tab back to OBS. So test donation, boom, it's happening. You have the picture, you have the picture, you have the alert, and then you have the text to speech all customizable through Streamlabs. You guys can make it your own. So there is your alerts. Let's add something even cooler. Let's add our donation goal, right? Our birthday is on the 20th of October. It's in Long Beach, California at TwitchCon. Let's add our donation goal so again you guys can customize it down here once you're done you can pick the colors all kinds of great stuff again widget URL we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go over back to OBS click the add button browser source donation goal add take the URL out for OBS project and add our donation goal widget guys boom there it is and as everything happens in real time this will update and all of your other browser source and text files will update live while you are streaming so let's keep it rolling let's start adding our most recent maybe our top donation of the month or our recent follow just so we can have it up and show our respect or show thanks to when somebody follows or you know uh, looks out for your stream so let's add this is going to be different, guys. This is not going to be a browser source. This is just going to be simply a text file. You can do it browser source, but it's going to look terrible. So we're going to add our simple text. Let's name it top monthly dono. Click OK. And right here, we're going to read from file. OK, read from file. We're going to browse where we're telling OBS to pull this information from. And we're gonna go simply to our desktop and we'll scroll down to our Twitch alerts. And then we here's all of our option guys, your cheer amount, your all time cheer, all time top donator, all kinds of stuff. Um, monthly top cheers, most recent follower, you guys can customize it however you want. But let's just simply do our um, monthly top donator like we talked about. So monthly top donator, we're going to click okay and then we have um, our monthly top donator right here. We're kind of inactive from World of Warcraft. It kicked us out real quick, but the game scene is still up. So here, 
our text file is up right here monthly top dono perfect let's add one more just so you guys know how to use the text files we're gonna go to add or right click add we're gonna go to text again let's name this our top uh, bit um, of this session okay we're gonna read from file again we're gonna tell it uh, where to look we're gonna browse but we're gonna go to our session top cheerer so let's see session cheer amount session cheerers uh session top cheerer right here okay we double click on that session top cheer we have no nice with the 2000 cheers from last night we'll put that wherever we want and there is your text file you guys can go back through these text files here if I click on it and go to properties you can change the color the size all kinds of um, the occupancy everything you know so this is just basically how to get it up and then you guys can make it your own let's add our tip cup right they just uh, twitch affiliates everybody has access to bits now let's add our cup so basically we go back to our stream labs again let's go to the jar and here we have all of our cups we can customize it however we want but very simply again guys our widget URL copy go back to OBS let's find a good spot we're gonna add a browser source right this is not a text file this is a little bit more than that browser source we're gonna name it tip cup click OK take the URL out for OBS project and we're gonna put in our Streamlabs tip jar click OK give it a second to update the tip jar takes a little bit of time you can kind of resize it while it's loading in and then if you guys will see here in a second it will pop up with our tip jar and everything um, that you had to this point tip wise will re fall back into the cup and kind of reset so there is our our gameplay there is our webcam and a quick green screen our text files our donation goal we have our tip cup our overlay I'm trying to think else uh, what else excuse me is beneficial for you guys on Streamlabs um, let's do uh, a let's do our event list again let's do one more so this is basically no matter if people uh, follow you or sub or donate or host or do anything like that this will track it this is just a tracker um, that can sit behind you I love to use it with my green screen effect I'm gonna show you why so here we go again guys you can change the theme from honeycomb to retro to stripes you guys can make it your own and then again simply guys we're gonna click to show the widget we're gonna copy and then real quick guys if you are lost at any point in time with the widget URL right here it'll show you what's going on right use the URL below in a CL CLR browser XSplit browser source uh, game show or just launch it in window capture browser source is the best way to do this with OBS and um, I just wanted to show you that and share with you guys that because if you're frustrated or stuck at any point in time OBS uh, and Streamlabs, excuse me, has a great way of just simply telling you uh, what to do with the URL. So we're going to copy this again. We're going to go back to OBS. We're going to add a browser source. It's not a text file. And we're going to name it, um, let's just name it um, Skits um, Event List. Click OK. Take the URL out. And we're going to add our widget for Streamlabs for the event list. So here it's going to, um, boom, right there. So let's make it a little bit smaller, right? And what I like to do is I like to put it right behind me. So this is going to be um, a little bit weird because it's a little bit sloppy. But you see how this is the most recent source that we added. And I told you guys you can put it behind you, right? So if you click on the event list and we're going to just simply down arrow it until we get it behind our webcam boom look how cool that is right so everything is set up right now this is the basic setup very very easy if you have any questions guys check it out Twitter my Facebook is up here it's skits gaming my YouTube channel and also Instagram snapchat any time you guys need help with any of this it's very easy for you to pick up your phone add me on snapchat I will add you right back and I will respond with a video help um, to get you off the ground and running that's the easiest way that I found to help you guys if you need um, any tips or tricks on how to set up 
your stream in the most official way possible. I also do consulting throughout the day for my social media, through YouTube, and through my Twitch live stream. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else, guys. That was basically it. That was very, very simple. If you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the description below. I'm gonna give you all of my resources um, to OBS, to Streamlabs, everything works. All of my older guides for OBS got great reviews. It helped you guys a lot. This is the same thing, just a little bit of an update for you with Streamlabs and OBS current version 19.0.2. So if this helped guys, it would mean the world to me if you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see other cool features, I'm gonna be working on a Elgato Stream Deck uh, tutorial, all kinds of other cool uh, tips and tricks for your streaming, not only on YouTube, on Twitch, but we're going to branch off into um, some game capture and um, kind of weasel our way away from OBS and, and open it up a little bit. So I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys to death. I hope this helped and uh, have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace.